Thank you for joining me here at Pilates Workouts Online for March Madness. If you're not familiar with March Madness, it has nothing to do with basketball. It's actually a global movement from the Pilates community started by Pilates 360, also Benjamin Dighart. So March Madness is essentially just going over the original work created by Joseph Pilates, which you can find in his book, Return to Life Through Contrology, because Pilates was once known as Contrology and was later renamed Pilates after his passing. So today we're gonna to be going over the first four mat moves within this series. And if you're new to Pilates and you need somewhere to start that's gonna be a little bit safer for your body, check out the link below for my free Pilates foundation series. This series is gonna give you a great um, set of movements to create strength and stability within your body so you can set up yourself for more success. So go ahead and check out that link below for my free beginner Pilates foundation series. The first move in this series is the Pilates 100. So we're gonna start seated on the mat with our feet on the floor, and then slowly start to tuck the pelvis, articulate all the way down until you're in a crease position. So you're crease of the chest line, you're looking toward your inner thighs. And the most, the easiest place to start is with the feet down. So hands at your side, and we're gonna pump those arms. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. So looking towards those inner thighs, think about that lower back pressing down, your arms reaching and lengthening across the room. We can also just take one leg up to tabletop at a time, starting with a slow march, keeping that pelvis stable, working our way up to bring in both legs to tabletop, or both legs can reach out straight. So think about those arms being pulled across the room, inhale, and exhale. And if you're per, um, a little bit more progressed in this work, start to bring those legs lower, maybe down to a diagonal, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do five more. Two. And one, and then lower all the way down so your head connects on the mat. Our next move is the roll up. So starting down on the mat, I'm gonna reach my hands back and overhead. So as my arms reach overhead, I wanna check in that my ribs aren't flaring up to the ceiling. So I still wanna keep the rib cage connected to the mat. And I'm gonna slowly start to take my arms up to the ceiling, letting my head start to come with me. So my ears are between my arms, creasing the chest line, pressing down into my hips and my heels, scooping from my core, to come all the way upright. And then we're gonna slowly move from the pelvis, articulate back down, reaching those legs away from your body, and then hands back overhead. So hands reach up, crease the chest line, press down to the hips and the heels, engage that core to help roll you all the way back to upright. And if that move is a little bit too advanced, you can always keep those knees bent, walk yourself down your thighs as you articulate through the spine, reach the hands back overhead, hands back to the sky, to the chest, crease of the chest line and roll yourself back to upright. Let's roll down one more time. So take your time as you articulate through the pelvis, scooping from the core, trying to go down as slow and controlled as you can, and then slowly come all the way back down to the mat. Our next move is the Pilates rollover. So after doing our roll up, now we're gonna roll over. So this is an inversion exercise. So the weight of our body is gonna be on our shoulders as our legs go overhead. So my hands are gonna be at my side. I'm gonna take my legs up to tabletop, feeling my spine on the mat, lengthening my legs to straight, and I'm gonna keep my feet glued together and pointed. I'm gonna scoop my core, starting to bring my legs over my pelvis as I scoop the abs, lifting my hips up, reaching those feet up and overhead, opening my feet to the width of my shoulders as I flex my feet and then articulate bone by bone on the way back down. Pointing my toes, my legs come back together, pressing down into my arms, scooping the core, lifting those hips up and overhead, toes touch the floor if you can, flex the feet and articulate back down. We're gonna reverse that with the legs. So the legs are gonna stay wide and open and flexed. I'm gonna scoop the abs, come up and overhead, weight on the shoulders, point the toes, legs together, and articulate my spine back down. Open the legs, flex the feet, scoop the core, legs come up and overhead, Toes come together, point the toes, and articulate all the way back down to the mat. From here, I'm gonna take one leg down straight onto the mat, going into our single leg circle. Other leg is straight, reaching above my pelvis. Your arms can come wider for more stability. We're gonna make a circle over our body, down towards our opposite ankle, out to the side, and back up. 
So circling down, around, and back up. Down, around, and back up. And then we'll reverse that going the opposite direction. We're gonna move our femur, that leg bone, within the hip socket. And you can always even make this circle smaller as well if that's more appropriate for you. That leg can lengthen back on the mat. Other leg lifts up, circling down across our body towards that bottom ankle, out to the side, and back to the ceiling above the pelvis. So finding the breath as you circle the leg. Let's do one more time in this direction, and then we'll reverse. So going out to the side, down towards that bottom ankle, around and back up. Working on some stability through the pelvis and our upper torso as this leg is moving. Let's do two more. Inhale for one, exhale for the next, and then we'll take that foot back on the mat, bringing those knees back in. Thank you for joining me for March Madness for our first four exercises within the Pilates repertoire. So going over the Pilates 100, the roll up, roll over, and the single leg circles. If you're new to Pilates and you want to set your body up for success, check out my foundation series down below. Click that link to get your first six videos within my foundation series to help set your body up for success within your Pilates practice. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you back here for the rest of March Madness.